You don't always have to open a note to know what to do or get some information. Come with me and I'll show you how to save some time. First things first. Did you know that there are four different list views? This is the one I use. So I like the thumbnails, they help me identify the note. The cards view also have thumbnails, but as you can see, it's not the snippets better. <laughs> well, this is the one I use. Okay, you can clearly see here tags and tasks. And the task icon is dynamic. If I mark this one as complete, one of three, two of three, and when I marked all of them as complete, the icon turns to this gray color. By the way, the same icon is also in the note. If I uncheck this ones here, you see on the upper right corner, the icon. But today's video is not about the note. I want to teach you how to get information without opening the note. The reminders icon work in a similar way. Friday is an important day. 14 years ago, I started using Evernote. Okay, you have the reminder here, but if the reminder is for today, there is an special icon. Did you see that? It's a darker blue. There is a dot on the no title. There is also a number one on the sidebar and on the reminders tab. And just like the tasks, when I complete a reminder, it will become gray. Are you still there? We are just beginning. But can you see how this can be useful? It's very good here, but in my opinion, all this really shines on Evernote Home, especially if you are using a system based on filter notes widgets like I do. There are several videos here on the channel and all the links are in the description below. And if this tutorial has been useful so far, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Back to the notes list view. What if you share a note? Yes, there's also an icon for that. Before we move to another view, let me show you this. Let's say you don't want to see the buddy tags on the preview. You don't want to see your tags or you want to see the tags, but don't want to see the reminders. You got the point. You can choose any or all these options. And finally, on this view, you can see the creation date of each note. In my opinion, the side list and top list, they work better if you want to sort information kind of in a database style. You have more options here. You can move things around. Let's change to the top list because it's easier to see. I can quickly change the ordering in some cases. I can set it by title, by creation date, by update. This ones, as far as I know, don't do anything. But you can right click here and add more options. Reminder date, created by, updated by, and size. And what is this URL thing here? Well, every time you clip a note, Evernote will grab the URL and you can also go to the note information tab and add your own URL. This is clickable and if you select the URL option here, this is also clickable. All this will work on Evernote for Mac and Windows and also on the web client. In fact, this is the web version of Evernote. However, as I show on this other video, there are some features and some tips that will only work on the web client. If you like this video and want to learn more about Evernote and productivity, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.